All right, y'all ready to hear some music out there? I said y'all ready to hear some music now, come on! Hi, I'm Mikey Wetzel, and today we're putting on an event called Float the Goat. We're putting a live band called the Whiskey Dam Band out on a floating stage over here. We're going to float it out to Goat Island. We're hoping hundreds or even thousands of people show up and have a good time on the lake listening to the live band. <laughs> The original idea for this and the first time I did it was back in 2019. I was replacing um, the floating section of my pier and it's a big rect floating rectangle and the old one was getting junk but I said before we get rid of it why don't we put a band on there and float it out. And then I thought well you know I don't want to get shut down um, so let me go ahead and get permission. So I called NC Wildlife, Rowan Search and Rescue, Miller's Ferry Fire Department, all of them said they'll bring out boats, keep people safe. Got Alcoa's blessing, went down to the county, actually pulled the noise permit. It's kind of funny, but you got to have a noise permit to make noise on the lake or you can get shut down. And uh, so it went to a public hearing and uh, passed uh, unanimously, I believe. And uh, they said, we'll see how it goes. And if it goes good, then um, you can do it again. Uh, 2020 and 2021 didn't happen because uh, pandemic. And then I was busy opening the restaurant Water's Edge. And this year I thought, you know what, let's do it again. And uh, this time we're doing it on two stripped out pontoon boats that are uh, bolted together. And it makes for a 24 foot by 16 foot platform. Band is showing up here any minute. Mr. Daniel Cook, Whiskey Dan, we're gonna have a good time today. Never played on a floating dock. This will be our first time actually, and it's gonna be a great experience, I believe. Look, like we're gonna have a good turnout. Like you'll, when you're entertaining the crowd, you'll be entertaining straight to the front and maybe over here. To the left, okay. So if you have a soundboard, you usually set it right beside the drums. We're gonna load it up, bring the boat over, tow it out, out kind of by Goat Island, and party starts at two. I started going out there when my kids were, I think, three years old and five years old, and they'd play in the sand. And it can have a party component, it can have a family component, you never know what you're gonna get, but it's a big enough spot that usually it segregates. So when my kids were little, we weren't really in the party spot. Um, I kind of secretly had a little bit of FOMO, fear of missing out, and I kind of wanted to make friends with some of those people. Uh, but um, now I've been coming out there for years and I've just, every summer I've met new people, they've all become friends. Um, I think that sometimes Goat Island gets a bad rap and sometimes that, that uh, is deserved um, because if you got people out there drinking, some bad stuff can happen. But I can tell you in 15 years and going out there, probably a good 15 to 20 weekends a year, um, if not Saturday and Sunday, but at least one of those days, I've only been out here a couple times where I've been kind of like, okay, I need to leave. Because, you know, people, there's a fight. Um, but I think that with some people, that one incident may scar you and you're like, okay, I'm never going out there. Um, but I think that the good outweighs the bad by a factor of 100. Um, most people are just out there, just like everybody else, trying to have a good time, enjoying life. And something about the lake, it's kind of like when people are on vacation and everybody's in a good mood. Well, when you're on the lake, nobody comes out in the lake in a bad mood, right? It's just good to be surrounded by that good energy and it's fun.